Hi, my name is Samantha Charland, and I chose video four, the one with the UNO cards. And my interpretation of the video is that with that kind of play, one could use words for counting. One, two, three, slowly, and as you're doing the actions so that you can engage them, um, get them to repeat you, get them to do the action as well. Um, you could use the colors, the numbers on the card, so blue, wild, one, six, things like that. Um, I think rather than trying to play the game of Uno, it's important to help gather practical vocabulary, uh, which would be simpler and easier to comprehend, and then repeat. So you could do this multiple times. Um, and the nice thing about Uno cards is they have multiple numbers, multiple colors. Uh, with the students I help, I often forget to speak simply. Sometimes it takes one or two sentences to get my meaning across. So instead of like, go through the door, please, it, it turns into door, go in. Um, I find that repeating basic language helps their vocabulary grow rather than using harder language and hoping that they'll understand, uh, which is why that please go through the door into your classroom becomes go in, door, please. Um, I think I'll be a lot more conscious in the future about the language that I'm using. Um, when I play games with the kids or help them with their schoolwork, I'll remember that it's easier to use simple words to help them gain an understanding uh, of the task rather than giving them the base instructions and hoping for the best. Um, yeah, thank you.